Are you ready to take the first step to embrace the unknown and step out of your comfort zone? Welcome to Step Out, Step In, the podcast that inspires you to break free from your familiar to explore the extraordinary. Hello, this is your host, David Jim. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, join me as we dive headfirst into thrilling stories of personal growth, daring adventures, and transformative experiences. Get ready to be motivated, inspired, and empowered to live your life to the fullest. So mark your calendar, set your alarm, and get ready to step out, step in with me every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss out on the adventure of a lifetime. Subscribe now and let's step into the unknown together. This is Step Out, Step In. The journey begins here. Step Out, Step In podcast live on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Or should I say good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you might be watching from or where you might watch the replay. And at what time? Uh, and this, again, I say good evening, good afternoon, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 54 of our, our weekly Step Out, Step In podcast, live on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. This is the podcast that challenges you to break free from the familiar, to embrace the unknown. And can I also say Happy New Year? <laughs> we are still in the new year, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, it sounds a little bit awkward wishing Happy New Year at this time. But it says Happy New Year. It never said Happy the first of or the first week of the new year. And since we are still in a new year, um, I say Happy New Year. 2024 is a new year because none of us have been this way before. And again, I want to welcome you to episode 54 of my weekly Step Out, Step In podcast. I want you to do me a favor. Can you share the link with someone? And let that one person also share the link with another. And let's all do this together. And again, thank you for allowing me to come your way tonight. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, live on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Step Out, Step In podcast. And this is episode 54. Um, This is the second uh, installment of the series um, uh, we're doing for this month and probably the early part of uh, next month, which is how to kickstart your new year. This is the second part of it, how to kickstart your new year. And last week, uh, I talked about reflecting on 2023. In other words, reflecting on the past, you know. And um, one of the things I realize most people don't do very well is to pause and reflect on the past. You know, there's a saying which goes uh, that life can be understood backwards, but it must be lived forward. We live life forward, but we understand it backwards. That is why every now and then it is, it is good to pause and reflect. And to make sense of life, we need to reflect upon the past, what we have already done, learned from our past actions. So today we'll be talking about certain intentions, or in other words, setting your goals. And the weeks ahead, um, we'll talk about identifying your priorities 
express your intentions positively write down your intentions visualize success review and adjust your intentions and take inspired action so tonight let's dive into it and uh we are we're going to talk about certain intentions and uh, now that we've looked back let's shift our focus forward <laughs> And instead of traditional resolutions, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about certain intentions or goals. You know, most of the time we hear that um, when it gets in, get into the end of the year, we mostly hear uh, setting um, your uh, New Year resolutions. And tonight we instead of the traditional resolutions we want to talk about setting intentions or goals you know res resolutions can be a little bit rigid <laughs> and and it can be easily abandoned um but intentions or goals are more about the journey than the destination have you realized that getting to the end of the year most of these um gems start with some promotion probably a dollar for the first three months just to sign you in or to sign you on and um i was reading um, this article which says that the the gyms they bring in more equipment in the last part of the year and the beginning of the year but then when it gets to roughly from the seventh of the month they begin to take out most of the uh, equipment they brought in and probably by the 15th to the end of the month they downsize because that is when people's resolutions um, die out again uh, thank you for tuning in and welcome to uh, step out step in po podcast good evening princess amma support thank you for tuning in Okay, let's see. All right. All right, good evening and thank you for tuning in. Um, if you just join and we're, uh, this is episode 54 of my weekly Step Out Step In podcast. Yes, to, to what I was saying, um, it, it, it steady shows that 38% of people make New Year resolutions every year. 38 percent but only nine percent of the people stick to it till the end of the year 38 set new year resolutions they make all the new year resolutions but only nine percent are able to stick to it till the end of the year it is also said that 80 percent of the new year resolutions are forgotten by february while 46 of the adults still stick to their resolutions after six months so as i said earlier we're not talking about the resolutions but you know resolutions can be rigid and easily abandoned but tonight we want to talk about intentions or goals you know it's better late than never but if i should ask what are your goals or what are some of the areas of life you want to focus on in 2024 we are 22 days is it 22 yes 22 days into the year but it's never too late it's better late than never what are some of the areas in your life you want to focus on 20 in 2024 is it is it your health is it your relationship is it your personal growth what is it about and and let's explore how to set some meaningful intentions for the year you know um setting intentions is one of the powerful things that uh, you and i can do one of the powerful practices that can help you and I clarify your goals and focus on your energy 
or what truly matters to you. And here's, here's a guide that I, 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 I put together which can help each and every one of us. Set our intentions. And number one is, number one is to find a quiet space. Find a quiet space. What do I mean by that? Choose a quiet or a comfortable place or space where you can stay and not be disturbed. This could be a room, this could be a park, this could be a place where you feel at ease, where you can sit quietly and reflect. You know, we live in a noisy environment, we live in a noisy world. And every now and then, we have to cut ourselves, separate ourselves from all the noisy environment and find yourself in a quiet, cozy place, let me put it our way, where you can reflect or where you can have that moment of having those ideas. And somebody will tell you, downloading, <laughs> downloading those ideas. <laughs> You know, and um, yeah. So every now and then find a quiet space and sit back for a few moments, have a time of reflection, have a time of meditation, meditating on God's word, reflecting on his goodness, reflecting on, um, on, on life. And also where you can have those innovative and creative ideas downloaded <laughs> All right not only find a quiet space but you can also reflect on your values what are your values think about your core values and what matters most to you in life last week i had the opportunity to have a conversation with this individual and we talked about our, your core values and how you can stick to your values and not allow others to um, infiltrate, not al allow others to cause you to, or make you break your values. What matters to you? And consider aspects such as family, such as faith, such as your career, personal growth, your health, relationships, and, and any other areas that are important to you and reflect on what brings you joy and fulfillment. So number one I said is find a quiet space where you can sit, where you can be to reflect and meditate. Um, but number two is reflect on your values. What are your core values and what matters most to you? Number three is identify your priorities. <laughs> you know, when you identify the key priorities or the goals you want to focus on, it helps you to stay on course. What do you want to achieve this year? What do you want to achieve in the next six months? What do you want to achieve in the next three months? What do you want to achieve in the next one month? In the next one week? And, and these are one of the things that we have to be realistic and we have to be specific on them. Being realistic and specific will help you. And these, and, 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 and these could be related to career advancement, personal development, relationship, health, and any other area of your life. You know, sometimes we set our lives on default. And when you set it in life on default, that is when it gets boring. <laughs> you know, you keep doing the same thing over and over again. I mean, life goes through that same cycle each and every single day, Monday through Friday. Weekends, then you do whatever you want to do, fill it up with some activities on, um, on the weekends, and you resume Monday through. But when you set specific and realistic goals, life doesn't get boring. 
Number four is express your intentions positively. Express your intentions positively. You know, this is where you put together your intentions in that positive language. <laughs> you put in, you put your goals in that positive language. Instead of saying what you don't want, focus on what you want. You know, more often than not, as human as we are, we keep rehearsing the negative things more than the positive. But this year, make a difference. Let this year be different from any other year and every other year. Instead of saying what, it, what you want, focus on what. Instead of saying what you don't want, focus on what you want. For example, if you want to improve your health, your intention might be, I am committed to nurturing my body with healthy food and regular exercise. And making this positive intention, you put legs to it. I mean, you put action to it. You just don't say it and leave it dormant. But you say it and make sure that you put action to it. So express all your intentions and let it be positive. Number five is write down your intentions. Take time. Take a journal. I wouldn't say take a piece of paper. Take a journal. Because a piece of paper, you, uh, you, you can easily lose it. But take a journal or either on your of on your phone i mean now there are apps on the phones that uh, makes um that you can download where you can journal every day your notepad anything and um, write down your intentions and as you write down your intentions use clear and affirmative language using clear and affirmative language helps you to solidify your commitment you know these are action and you put in legs to it <laughs> and um and for example you can write sentences like i am i will to make them more declarative you know i am i will mean that you want to declare it you want to put action to it you want to make sure that whatever you're stating whatever you're writing or whatever you're putting down, whatever your 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 journal is 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 going to mean something, and it's going to put action to it, so you can act on it. Number six is visualize success. You know, uh, um, success can mean something different to every everyone. To some success is having all the cars and all the money in the bank and houses and uh, boats and airplanes and all that. Yes, those the, the, these are byproducts of success. But if I should give you another definition of success is um, identifying your purpose and living your purpose to the fullest. And by visually visualizing success, it will it will it will help you um, and achieve your intentions. You know, sometimes you got to picture the details of it, how you feel, how you see it, and that positive outcome. And I believe that this visualization can also help reinforce your commitment. And create a positive mindset. Think about it. Number seven is review and adjust your intention. You know, setting your intentions, setting your goals is an ongoing process. You know, sometimes you set your goals at the end of the year. So as you transition into the new year, 
you can begin to reinforce them. You can begin to work on them in the new year. Uh, take time to regularly to review them and adjust your intentions as needed. You know, sometimes you have to tweak it a little bit. Sometimes you have to adjust it a little bit. And this helps you to stay focused and aligned with your evolving goals. You know. So I said number one is find a quiet place every now and then so you can reflect, meditate. A place where, the, where, where you find comfortable, where you're not disturbed, where you're not distracted. Number two is reflect on your values. Think about your core values and what matters most to you. Number three is identify your priorities. What are the key goals or the key priorities you want to focus on this year that we are talking about this year? You know, what do you want to achieve in your short term, medium, long term goals? What do you want, want to achieve the next month, next three months, six months, and, and this year, 2024? Number four is express your intentions positively. Put together your intentions in that positive language. In that positive language. And this year, I, uh, I would say that as much as possible, refrain from making any negative conversions. You know, one of the things that I tell people is um, words are so powerful. Words are so powerful. You know, when you go to the restaurant and you get seated and they give you the menu, you go through it and you order your meal. Except the, uh, the chef or whoever's in the kitchen makes a mistake. Nine out of 10, whatever you pick from the menu is what is delivered to you. It is the same way as, uh, using words whatever you speak is whatever comes back to you as a person of faith let me say this in Ephesians 4 29 um, that's one of my favorite scriptures I remember when um, our kids were growing up that was one of the scriptures we made them um, uh, memorize and anytime they said something negative that is what they will quote <laughs> says do not let any corrupt communication other version says that on wholesome words careless words proceed out of your mouth. Why? Because you're a speaking being. Your words are so powerful. Your words mean so much. So what you speak is what is established. This is but don't let any current communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good, that which will edify the hearer and build up whoever hears you speak. And we speak to ourselves more often than not. So let your own words even build you up, edify you, <laughs> edify others those who hear you speak so let's let your words be positive this year no matter what you know where where, where i come from sometimes we we say certain things carelessly and unconsciously but these are confessions we make just like waking up early in the morning and hitting your foot against the bed or something uh, sometimes uh the, this this Greek word flies out of our mouth, <laughs> meaning I'm dead. Gradually, you're speaking this to yourself. Because words don't know when you're serious or when you're joking. Anytime it, it comes out, it has to accomplish something. So l express your intentions positively. Put uh, together your intentions in that positive language write down your intentions make it plain i, I mean write it paste it where you can always see it um where you can always find it when every now and then you can go back go through it review it make the necessary adjustments as as you want and as you go along um write your sentences in that positive language um, in the sentence I am I will and um, so that you can you can make them more declarative visualize your success 
that was number six and number seven adjust your intentions every now and then tweak your intentions your goals a little bit to fit um, um, the direction to which you're going you know don't make it too rigid um, make it adjustable so you can uh, um, it will be aligned with your evolving goals and number eight is take inspired action take inspired action taking inspired action is to commit to taking small consistent action towards your intention it sometimes has to be little by little take those small actions let it be consistent and let it work towards your intentions you know break down your goals into manageable steps and start with and start working towards them the key is to stay motivated and make progress over time let me say that again the key is to stay motivated and to make progress over time remember setting intentions or goals is a personal process and there's no one size fits all approach no there's no one size fits all approach and with with all these steps um, I would say feel free to adapt this exercise to suit your preference and your needs all right so in this episode 54 these are the, uh, the points that I have in just a moment I'll be right back <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to episode 54 of my weekly podcast live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube page, please do so. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime something is posted, you'll be notified. And um, follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, please comment. Um, send your comments. <laughs> nice ones, though. <laughs> so send your comments in and uh, share with family and friends if it's worth listening to if it is worth sharing just before i sign off this evening i want to do this real quick let me introduce my spiritual father dr franco Fusopia. every tuesday at 6 p.m eastern standard time live on youtube and facebook uh, he comes our way with the ambassador of hope every tuesday every tuesday at 6 p.m eastern standard time if you haven't subscribed to his youtube page please do so um and also don't forget to click on the notification bell um that anytime something is posted you'll be notified uh, last week he started a series i have a dream and here we are it's it's on right here um, I know this is something that most people don't do, but I want to encourage you, go back to his page, his YouTube page, and um, I mean, he, he leaves all these for us to, uh, to learn from it and to make our lives better. I know people pay thousands of dollars to go listen to his things that are not even close to what we are getting for free. So I want to encourage you, uh, go to his YouTube page. It's um, um, YouTube is Franco Fusopia Official. And uh, Facebook is the Ambassador of Hope. Um, last week, he started a series, I Have a Dream. And it's, it's epic. It's amazing. It's wonderful. And uh, this year, 2024, I said earlier, don't let it be like any other year that has come and gone let this year be an extraordinary year let this year be one of the years that you can really uh, say that i have had the full blast in 2024 
and it's all by how you start and how you how you prepare how you start and how you journey through the year with the good start and the preparation you set ahead so we all need a dream we all need a dream and uh, please go back and listen to this and um, tune in every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live on YouTube Fra um, Franco Fusopia official and Facebook is the ambassador of hope page all right all right and again i want to thank you all for tuning in to episode 54 of my weekly podcast step out step in live on youtube facebook and linkedin and as we wrap up today's episode 54 remember that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step <laughs> The choices you make now will shape the path ahead. Let me say that again. The choices you and I make now will shape the path ahead. And this year, let your path be glorious, let it blossom, let your path be amazing because you're making the right choices right from the beginning. And I want to thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. And again, if you found this <laughs> value, if you found value in today's episode 54, please share with a friend, with a loved one, with a friend of me, you never know, and leave a review. Uh, you know, the review comes in to motivate. Let us know how um, this is impacting you or others. And I, and I believe that 2024 will be your best year yet. Be determined to make 2024 a happy new year. And uh, to make it a happy new year, live intentionally and live by design and not by default. Stay curious, stay engaged, and until next time, same time next week, take care and keep chasing those dreams. I'm really, really grateful for each one of you. Next week, we'll be talking about, I gave, I gave the year, uh, so next week, let's, let's meet again and let's talk about identifying your priorities. And until we meet again, this has been your host, David Joe. Stay blessed, be safe, and let's connect next Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until then, I say I love you. There's nothing you can do. Goodbye.